Hey guys, welcome back to BioPC. I'm going to be calling this BioPC instead of build your own PC, seeing it'll be a lot quicker for me to say. So just use that for a future reference. For this PC, it's going to be a $300 Media Center PC, which is intended for only media, but not for any sort of game, unless you're playing a lot of the old emulators like the Game Boy Advance or some other old games like Doom and all that. So anyway, let's get started off. Alright, so starting off with the case, I went with the Rosewar RS-M1-01 Black Mini ITX Tower case. The reason why I went with this case was because it was very small and also looked pretty decent. So it should match with just about any home theater setup right now. And it also comes with an included 250 watt power supply which would be more than enough to power this whole entire system. Alright, the motherboard I went with for this build is the Foxconn D27S Mini ITX motherboard. The reason why I went with this motherboard because it had an integrated Intel Atom D2700 2.1 GHz dual core. This should be more than enough for any type of media including 1080p video. And it also has the Intel HD graphics as well. Another thing I liked about this motherboard was due to the fact that it had two USB 3.0 ports, which should be great for hooking up external hard drives and also flash drives that are USB 3.0. And it also comes with an integrated HDMI port and also has gigabit ethernet. This is one of the things I really liked about this motherboard that really made me want to go for this board. And also, it takes laptop RAM, so the amount of space needed will be a lot less than you think. Speaking of RAM, I want the PNY Optima 4GB stick of laptop RAM, seeing that the only thing that this motherboard will use is laptop RAM. There's basically no reason behind it because a lot of RAM is pretty compatible with just about all motherboards. For the hard drive, I want with the Toshiba DT01 ACA200. The reason why I want this hard drive was because for the price point for a 2TB hard drive, basically for 88 bucks. You can't even beat this. It also comes with 64 megabytes of cache, 7200 RPMs, and it is basically pretty energy efficient. And for the optical drive, I just decided to grab a Pioneer BDC 207 BDK Blu ray writer. This, like I said, this is purely intended for the Media Center PC, so you won't be burning any Blu rays. Simple as that. And the reason why I want this whole entire build was due to the effect that also had a lot of storage, Blu-ray drive, and also very energy efficient because it just sits under 75 watts. So this would be more than energy efficient and also very quiet due to the motherboard having an integrated CPU with just the heatsink alone. And the power supply would be basically handling most of the cooling. So I figured go for this build. So if you have any questions about this build, feel free to leave any comments. And I'm also leaving this open to the community to edit, and this is just a baseline build. And if you have any questions again, email me or leave a comment. Email is scolibus at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Tumblr, which is scolibus.tumblr.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, which is scolibusoc. And follow me on Facebook, which is scolibus as usual. You can also visit me on the Rodney Reynolds website, Tech Syndicate, and also 3dgaming.com. And feel free to rate and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.